I like that the fish sinks into the uh, yeah the afro puff. I wonder if the QR code for order actually uh, goes to anything, or if That'd it's just made to look like a QR code, like enough like one that we get what it's supposed to be. Meanwhile, the it shrinks when it goes <laughs> onto the afro. <laughs> Did you see that there's some theories that uh, Spike might have something to do with uh, what's going on? He's on Team Chaos. Maybe he's pulling all the strings. He's a shifty individual we shouldn't be listening to. And Sheldon doesn't have a team because, hey, he can develop weapons for... War anybody. profiteering knows no sides. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Or nobody picked him. He was like the last kid in dodgeball. <laughs> uh. Nerd. Oh, but guys, come on. You're literally using all the stuff I brought. So, your memories of that day two years ago have returned. Now prepare to ride those squid-tastic grooves once again. So this is where we learn that Agent 3 and Agent 8 have met before. And that it you was have Agent feels. Three kicking Agent's ace, <laughs> Agent Eight's ass. There are feelings about this. Cause she's cool like that. I mean, you get a cool little cape. So, you've beaten the regular. Uh story mode fight, no problem, but uh, uh, I can tell just from the first couple seconds here that this is an entirely different animal. It really is. It is a much different fight. <laughs> um, I do find it interesting that it's in this very, like, liminal space devoted to this fight. Ah, uh, you're remembering the fight. You're right. literally fighting your mental health demons. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Just notice there's like a little guitar over by one of the uh, panels there. Yeah. Oh, and the other thing's full of uh, things of wasabi. Yeah. I was trying to figure out what they were. I thought it was like uh, undersea plants, and I was like, oh, wait, no, big things of wasabi. Stop it, you jerk. So this is stage one of five. Of five? Yeah. Uh, did the original fight have like three stages? Yeah. Ah, uh, why? Because why do they do this? Because. <laughs> so this is all for like a, a hair piece, right? Oh yeah. The, the golden toothpick. The the hooby doo. The what's a who's it you get to wear on your head? Yeah. You get a golden toothpick and I don't know, closure for mental health issues. I suppose that's true. Can't put a price on that. Um so I can't help but notice it just lets you start over and over and over. Yeah. Do you only get one life to go through the whole thing? Oh yeah. Nah, this is... That, settle like, in. <laughs> that, that, like, double got you. There was a... There was a bomb that was gonna get you if they didn't special you. So, um... How far have you gotten before? I've gotten to the last phase before. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, yeah. You got to stage two, though. Briefly. <laughs> Still counts. Just like throwing a bomb at the end of a uh, salmon run to extend that timer by a second. It's still a win. Fortunately, you can spawn camper like somebody super jumping in multiplayer. Oh, okay. But now she's gonna have a bubbler. Oh.
Are they using dualies or do they just have that good a rate of fire? What's that? Are they using dualies or do they just have that good a rate of fire? Oh no, they, she just has a good rate of fire. Okay. And can dodge roll natively. Uh, and I, automatically generate special bar. I do suppose that the uh, the dodge roll didn't come out until two, but it had to come from somewhere. And uh, the fully souped up version of the uh, hero shot was pretty good. Yeah. This is what it's like to be on the other end of that powered up hero shot. And this is your memories of fighting Agent 3. Oh, sure. I guess this is you learning you've grown since then. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. You're. you're uh, I got her, but she tagged me. You're a big, tough boy now. Yeah. Now, this is when. This is shortly before the finale of. Uh, Splatoon 1 when she's staring through all of Octavia's dudes. Oh, sure. Okay. Okay. Come on, where are you landing? And they always land with a, a splash. They always down. land with a splash down. Ah, dang it. Run away. Abort. Abort. Run away. Gotta get that armor back. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Nice job. Alright. Stage three. Worst phase, Autobomb phase. Oh. Yeah, that doesn't sound good. I do wish that those balloons weren't still out. Like, the fact that they get to keep their effect from the last yeah. uh, phase is not, not ideal. Not great. You're doing good, though. Yep. I doing mean, great. obviously that wasn't great, but really, <laughs> in general... There's progress. Oh, sure. You're, you're, I think you're giving as good as you got. Oh. Considering that you pop on one go and they pop on, you know... Well, technically I've got two health bars. Two to five. Two fifths. That's, that's, the, that's the ratio we're dealing with here. So I think you're giving as good as you got. Oh, sure. Heck, if, you, if they let you go in with an actual set of armor. Oh, yeah. I think at a certain point it should have the little fill-up bar like it does all the other stuff. Yeah. And girls should be like, just go to therapy, honey. You're, you're free now. You're not stuck on the train. You can go anywhere you want. Including this, like, very nice barnacle who has some things <laughs> to say about, like, you know, generational trauma. Yeah, well. Four, five, By the way, that is six. my that is my OC do not steal. <laughs> the barnacle therapist? Yeah. They're very patient. That is a very powerful autobomb. They never seem to work that good for me. There's a reason I don't really use them in uh Had better look with the curling bombs. Those aren't autonomous. I know where they're gonna go. I know everyone calls them little, uh, everyone calls them chickens, and I've always felt that the AI that drives them is about as smart as an actual chicken. Yeah. Well. And I get it. You don't want them to be too good because then they're, you know, impossible to deal with. Um, but I definitely don't feel like I've gotten a lot of kills with them. Uh, okay, stage two, here we go. I've had better luck with the torpedo. Maybe it's because it doesn't get us hang up on terrain. Oh, you that ain't gonna work. The torpedo much? What's that? The torpedo? What about it? Have you used it at all? No. I, uh, I like it better than the... Uh... It's new and scary, so I don't use it. <laughs> uh, what I the like... heck can't make? I like it a lot better than the, uh, the Seeker, because it doesn't get caught up on terrain quite so much. Yeah, it's bad, bro. Like, if I was gonna pick a, a Seeking Bomb, I'd just have kind of a regular Splat Bomb, to be honest, but... Of the two, since they share a similar design, um, the, the Flying Seeker works better. 
big surprise. <laughs> Although, the ground-based ones definitely are willing to travel a bit further to get where they're going. True. Uh, which I suppose is the trade-off, but... I just... I've watched the Seekers get stuck on, like, trees and stuff. Corners. <laughs> Come on, that one hit the top of the thing. That should have splashed down. They clearly upgraded their splash damage. <laughs> okay, here we go. against him. I guess that is one good thing about the arena but not being like incredibly big. Yeah. That must have uh that it's pretty special. It doesn't really help much with the other ones, but it's a good advantage you can get this I guess. Okay, out of bombs. Miserable. Hey, Dre. They really like lobbing those shots, too. <laughs> Didn't have to notice that they were. Oh, yeah, they got much range. better range than I do. Four. What's phase four? <laughs> phase four is them being on here and shooting Tenta missiles at me. That's awful. Okay, great. Stupid auto bomb. That's just their regular bomb, I take it, is yeah. the auto bomb. Oh! This is their version of, uh, in the regular fight. Yeah. Where you just have to lob grenades at them once in a while. I know these are all things that you know. Uh, well, just, I mean... It's all just dawning on me the longer I watch that they really did stack that deck. Oh, crap. Oh, don't you dare. Uh, ah. I'm so sorry. That is... Wow. I can see why everyone complains about PTSD from this fight. 
Okay, okay. Come in. Come in. Come in. Come in. Well, if anything was going to break me of my god, I'd get them all feelings about uh, the gear in this game. Uh, I think it's this. I, uh, I don't think I'm going to get the gold toothpick anytime soon. What the heck hit me? I think they ducked behind you. Like, using the balloon as cover. Yeah, uh, I think they managed to get behind you. Okay, so... Feel dead here. Don't sit back. I'm leaning on you to fill up the dead air here, man. I'm busy. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I just... You're gonna cut like 90% of this. <laughs> I feel like this is punishment because I talk too much. It's like, ah, let's talk. Cut talk 90% more. of this. What do you think? I'm a coward? Well, I just didn't think you were gonna post a however long this is. Bet I will. Like how long this takes this is four right hours. Now. It takes four hours. I mean, I guess YouTube videos will be that can be that long now, but endless mode, ten hour calamari incantation remix. Ugh. We have work tomorrow. <laughs> we have jobs. Not until the we don't know. We don't open. We can stay up till 2.30 in the morning and still get plenty of sleep. <laughs> I will disagree with at least half of that statement. <laughs> well, yeah, you won't make it till 2.30 in the morning. Oh, yeah. I was gonna say, uh, you're, gonna have to, you're gonna have to mute my mic at about, like, 11 because it's just gonna be saw and logs over here. Oh, come on. There was blue ink between me and that explosion. I doesn't care about the ink. Um, I just realized I think they're using the two main colors of the game. Oh, definitely. But, uh, the inky boy is usually blue. Uh, yep, it's, and Agent 3 is that classic orange. It's orange and blue, that's for sure. I mean, it was, I knew it was like an orange and a blue, but I just realized it was like their, their standard colors. Uh, which makes sense considering this is like technically a reimagining of Splatoon 1 content, I guess. Like, you know, the events, the, the events, uh, per, uh, the events that portrayed here would have taken place timeline wise in Splatoon. Yeah. The bubbles popped. Ugh. Because a grenade was slightly near them. Ish. Uh, that's why the that's why the bubble blower is such a powerful weapon. Uh, you gotta answer it, but at the same time, it uh, it doesn't go without a fight when you pop one. Okay, come on. We gotta run it stage four already. We can do it again. We only have to be. We only have to get through it once. That's true. I will say, uh, it's probably good that they were very obvious in their translation of that Wasabi, because. I will admit that I have never in person seen a wasabi before. <laughs> I mean, think it was some this, kind of asparagus? I'm just saying, I mean, it's obvious it's some kind of root, but, like, my first thought wouldn't be Japanese or Spanish. Um, it's just not something I can find, like, easily outside of Japan. That's fair.
Yeah, we were joking about me falling asleep earlier. I, I have already yawned twice. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, come on. We'll, we'll see if, uh... We'll see if we can get through that post. Uh, I'm a sleepy boy. Very low energy most days. Okay, let's... I guess we'll just give it a few more tries and call that an episode, then. I mean, if you want to do the... 10 hour Calamari incantation spoken word album. Nobody will be able to hear me over your snoring. <laughs> you dramatically underestimate how loud you are. I mean, that's the remix. That's the buzz. Explosion radius on that is just hideous. Yeah. That is just I will say the arena reminds me of American gladiators. Except that instead of like having an objective, it's just beat the beat the gladiator. Yeah. It's like American Gladiators meets actual gladiators. Because if this was American Gladiators, I'd be like an objective, like a race, or some kind of like collective thing and get it to a place or something. Um, and the, the OP Gladiator would be there as an obstacle rather than as a, a straight up adversary. Yeah. I wish they'd make this slightly easier now that Spectrum's. Winding down? Yeah. Sunsetting? I don't know. What's the term for it? Sunsetting. Probably. I will say that while they're throwing the bombs, they're not shooting as much. Okay, stage four. Oh, wow. The... the bomb where they're gonna be. Oh yeah. Oh no, I understand exactly how well I don't understand exactly how it, I understand it is ridiculously hard to actually make good on that thing I said so happily away. Um, but I just I realized that we're chasing after the uh, the, uh, the saucer. Go in the same direction. It doesn't help it change directions, I get that, but let's try it. But, uh, I also recognize it come off as, oh, you just have to do this. Got him. Nice. Okay, splashdown phase, I'm dead. Oof. That was just, <sighs> that was just mean. Yeah, they're gonna do that three times in a row. What? Splashdown. Oh. I feel like it could have given you a few more seconds to compose yourself between rounds. That uh, wouldn't even that wouldn't even make the game air quotes easier. It would just give you some breathing room between the reset your health. It would reset your health or put some heat down, but it you know what I mean? It would mostly just give you a second to go. Yeah. And I do think maybe it might benefit from that. Gotcha. And I mean, I say that as someone who's made peace with the fact that I don't, I don't need this. Not that badly. Um, but, uh... They popped all of 
clear for the wind storm. Yeah. Yeah. See, the trick compared to the bubble blower is that the auto bomb launcher, you can still shoot your gun at when you're using it. True. what makes Agent 3 so badass. I don't even think Agent 3 is this cool in the comics. <laughs> I'm just saying, anime version of the character is usually the most OP version. Yeah. Well, I mean, Agent 3 in the comics is, uh, goggles. The writer. So yeah, they're probably more OP just because they use cartoon logic. I suppose that's true. Uh. You know what would be really handy, Nintendo? You know, one of your special hidden pro player debuffs. Just make things slightly easier as they go on. Oh. The longer you try, the easier it gets. Come on, Nintendo, sure. you know you like do that stuff. No, okay. this, this was sent here to punish us. <laughs> I mean, maybe not us specifically, but all the people who were like, uh, yeah. Octo Canyon, easy. I really don't like this was, people. This was their, this was their like, okay, so you did everything else. How was it? Better. Uh, I feel like it really rewards skill-based play. Okay, here you go. Skill-based play this. Skill based play this. And it's not impossible. It's not like they. Uh, oh, sure. Plenty of people have done it. Oh, sure. But I guarantee it frustrated the heck out of a lot of people first. Yeah. Even the ones that got it. I am certain uh, there was first the, the stages of grief. Oh, nice. Knocked them out of their special. So. I don't even know what I'm doing. Oh, is that what it was? Yeah, it exploded somewhere near the vacancy of a bubble. Oh. That's nonsense. Okay, stage three. This is the Autobomb launcher, right? Yeah. Yeah, there were a lot of those. Even if that one hadn't got you, there were like three more that were gunning for you. Yeah. Okay, stage one. Stage two. Like, I get why the splashdown opener is there, so that you can't spawn camp where they're gonna start. Yeah. But, uh. The rest of the There's a lot of sign decisions where I'm like, the only reason to do this is to hurt people. <laughs> Just to, you know, metaphorically kick him. Yeah. 
Maybe I'll look at a mod and see if I can't make this easier. <laughs> but, like, I can kind of understand why. I've seen the comments, you know? Mm hmm. Uh, after Nintendo does darn near anything, uh, there's usually a rather vocal element. This fight, I hate it so much. You only have to be perfect once. Just like Girl Power Station. I guess that's my problem with it, is I do feel like it really does want you to be perfect once. And, uh, I've never been perfect at anything, so... special? That'd be neat. Just one. Just one for the whole thing. I know exactly when I'd use it. I'd use it when they're up on the platform for that one stage, because it's hard to get out. Uh... Alright, well, my controller's dying, so I'm gonna give this another one more decent go, and then... Set you up with a pro controller and see how you like it. Yeah, we'll see. Anyway, thanks for watching the Inner Agent 3 fight. I'm sure we will record more of this fight for you in the future. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and we'll catch you later.